Hello everyone, this is Gleb Bachmata. I want to show you an example of GitHub Action workflow where we're using Cypress GitHub Action, but we separate the workflow into two jobs. One job will install dependencies and build the site. The second job will actually run the test. I have a little repo prepared for you called Cypress GS Action Split Jobs under my account. Let's look at the workflow. So I open the GitHub workflow file and click at main. This is the whole GitHub workflow. It runs on push and pull requests. We have two jobs. First job is install. It checks out the files. And then we need to install dependence. Not going to run any tests. So by using run test false would tell Cypress GitHub action. Just install the dependence. This action will take care of everything. It will properly cache. It will install dependencies using yarn, or npm ci command, and then we'll save the updated cache. Now, we installed everything, we can build the site. We have npm alias, so we can call npm run build. I'm showing the files that we get, but our build command generates a folder called dist. We want to pass that folder to the next job. So that's why I'm using a GitHub action from the GitHub team called actions upload artifact, right here. And my parameters are just have a single folder called dist and upload it and call it build. If I have multiple upload artifacts, I can disambiguate on that name. Now we reach the end of the first job and beginning of the second job. The second job already will have a pre-built website. It just needs to run the test. I call it UI test. It needs the install job. That means it will run after the install job has finished. I'm doing pretty much the same steps. I'm checking out the files, but then I'll download the disk folder that was created by the install job. So now I'll have a build site. But in order for me to run everything, I still need the node modules, I need the Cypress binary. So I will use Cypress GitHub Action again, which will again install everything, do the caching if necessary. But then I'm actually running the test. I'm starting the local site, it's already built. So it's fast, I'm waiting for it to respond, and when I'm passing the base URL to Cypress test. Let's see this in action. I'll click on actions tab, and I can see all the new commits have finished building, and I'll click at the last workflow. As you can see, the two jobs are showing in relationship to each other. First install, and then UI. As you can see, they both took less than half a minute, and together they took exactly one minute. So the install took 16 seconds to install. I mean, mostly it uses the cached version already. Build the site in three seconds. Let's go back to the UI test, download the build folder. We can see the output and then run the test. Now you might ask, why do we have to cache dependencies in both jobs? Isn't that extra work? Well, this happens so fast that there is almost no overhead to cache Cypress binary and the NPM folder and then install things again. So this is a typical workflow for separating install in and the test jobs. The good thing about separating the job is that once you have it separated, it's easy to run multiple copies of this job in parallel. If you want to see example of that, go into our Cypress GitHub Action repo and we have a lot of examples showing how to run tests in parallel. There are individual examples in this folder, I mean in this repo, and there are a bunch of additional repositories that are linked in the readme. 